Welcome back everyone to an encore presentation of Let's Play Rule the Waves as Austria-Hungary. So it is true the game is over, I'm going to end it, but um, we didn't end it exactly just because, or this encore presentation I should say is only happening because I forgot to resign. Yes, it is time to actually resign my command, otherwise we never know. In fact, let's just go one more turn just to make it more, even better. We are, yeah, it doesn't really matter, so... The U.S. has scrapped their Idaho, which was built in 1914. A lot of ships being scrapped because the game's over, and they all know it. Okay, so let's go ahead and officially resign. Really resign? Um, okay, well, let's just take another peek real fast to how things are ending. We, with our acquisitions, in fact, Germany appears to have acquired quite a lot of stuff as well. They're up to 543 for their um, budget. We're at 438, which puts us at a solid fourth. Um, just behind Great Britain, so that was very helpful, our little war with them. Let's just take a look at the ships that we had lost in our career. Again, the infamous Pollock, which ran out of fuel. Um, our St. George II. We didn't ever lose our St. George, although she chose not to become a... Mu well, for whatever reason, she didn't become a museum ship. The Blinson did, which is something that boggles the mind. Not that the Blinson did poorly, but just that the... <laughs> St. George was the original hero. The Tiger II, our other hero, I think I already mentioned, uh, maybe we already went over some of these, but it was a really fun, really fun campaign. And I think this is why I remembered I didn't resign, besides people mentioning it. I wanted to see, okay, there, are you really, really sure, basically? I wanted to see this, because this is kind of cool. We can see the, the summary of battles. Our prestige, it looks like by 1925-ish, we were already around 70 or so, uh, so that's good. Fleet tonnage, okay, so Great Britain is yellow, and unfortunately the map doesn't extend beyond 1930, which is fair because it is over time, but we don't get to see how their ship tonnage goes because, yeah. In fact, the, <laughs> the map here is carrying over. That's obviously where the Austro-Hungarian people had their ship tonnage, was way above anybody else at this point. Our economy was the best, uh, and we had the most ships lost. Okay, so let's take a look at this. In the in the course of this playthrough, we lost 72 submarines, which is a lot. Yeah, the United States is the only nation. Nope, Russia as well. Russia and the United States, I guess they were off doing their own thing. We never fought either one of these. It's funny, I guess we never fought Italy in the modern era because we only killed normal battleships from them. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very clear if you just t take a look at any category here that since most of these wars were us against other people, we clearly outfought everyone. Now, did we? I guess we did fight Germany at one point. I already don't remember. Well, we can take a look. Yeah, we did fight Germany. It actually lasted longer than I thought. So it looks like the order of our wars was. I thought we had two wars against Italy, but I guess just one, and we had two against France. So we had. Italy, then Germany, and then France, and then France, and then Great Britain further after that. Yeah. Oh wait, do we fight Italy again? Uh, do we fight anybody after we fought France here? I'm already forgetting what happened after this war with France. Um, maybe that was it. But this is kind of cool just to view everything. Let's view the economy. This is, I think, this is a fun one to look at. So yeah, we started dead last. No surprise there. We were finally able to catch up at least to <laughs> Italy. <laughs> oh boy, geez, that's not a... If you're just trying to catch up to Italy, that's not a good sign. So finally we caught up to Italy, then we bypassed them, we caught up to France, we bypassed them. France was more or less tied, or I guess maybe Russia was tied with us. I don't know, Russia's in here somewhere too, we bypassed them. Um, and then we never fully came high enough to be able to challenge either uh, Germany or Great Britain or the United States, but the trend was upward, so it's something we can be proud of. We helped our nation's economy grow, and we were pretty much already looked at that. So good, let's just close out of that. I guess that's it. Um, in recognition, oh, look at this. We got a new aircraft carrier. That's kind of cool. I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah. 
since we have brought Austria-Hungary to the forefront in the world's navies, you can imagine a situation where they actually did consider an aircraft carrier. Of course, aircraft carrier is a little bit less helpful in the Mediterranean. Um, and by a little less helpful, I mean a lot less helpful. There's no real point to have air projection when the entire sea zone is within air range already. <laughs> so uh, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Of course, it's always nice. Fighters have certain aircraft have lower range, and it's always better to get closer. But um, this is, I guess, my second most successful playthrough, although we did end two years later. My Germany playthrough higher prestige. I don't really know how to measure prestige though. I mean my campaigns with prestige or whatnot because um, you know I don't really even care about prestige half the time. Yeah so eh, it's interesting. Anyway um, so this is going to conclude this video but what is the point of this video is now to tell you that I should down below have a straw pool which is going to be just anybody's chance if you're a lurker and you don't prefer to um, voice your opinion in the comments, it's totally okay. Just go ahead and vote in the straw poll for the nation you want me to play as next. And we have to, we got to pick a nation that we haven't picked before. So not on this little flag list. You can eliminate Austria-Hungary. You can eliminate Germany and the United States. I don't think I'd want to play as one of the ones I've played as before. Although I'm going to say it straight out, the United States is a lot of fun to play as just because they're so strong. But that leaves us with Great Britain, France, Italy, Russia, Japan, who's not on this list, and also the Confederate States of America. In fact, we could even try, I think, I think there's a possibility to do um, Spain. There's, it's one of the options. I'm not sure, but it might be. Or it's a separate nation file that I'd have to get. So I'm not sure. I'll look it up before I do my straw poll. If you see Spain on there, then it's a legitimate option. If not, then it's not. But you guys can choose now which one you would uh, prefer me to see uh, to see me play next, basically. Which one should I play next? Um, my personal opinion on the matter, if everything came to a tie, I might pick Japan. Because I know that Japan's played a lot by other people, but this is simply because it's a lot of fun to play as. Japan is a ton of fun to play as. Um, so I know that we were going to go with a more torpedo-heavy strategy with the Austro-Hungarians, but you can kind of see it doesn't work so well. <laughs> we had a lot of torpedo boats, but um, my skill at getting the ships to launch torpedoes... Uh, another idea is maybe people want to see me play not in rear admiral mode. Maybe I could go to captain mode which means that you actually get to choose when your ships launch torpedoes. Um, it lowers the amount of victory points you get because it's supposed to be a little bit easier and you can control every ship. I don't think you have the... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about this, but I think you can, con can control ships even beyond sight range. So that means that there's no more reverting to AI. I think it would just be a lot more... Uh, it'd be easier to win. For sure. It certainly is a lower difficulty setting. It might even be interesting for me to go to the normal Admiral, the highest difficulty setting, where you have even less control. That would be kind of cool just because we could maybe role play a little bit more as the Admiral and not um, not rely on my own strategic or tactical skills as much since you are fighting a very tactically dumb AI. Doesn't have, um, doesn't always do the smartest thing. So I, I should be doing that more also. I should be my kind of role playing more when divisions go to AI control. Okay, well, we lost range with this person. I hope that they act correctly. My strategy has been to still kind of manually control them because there is a little bit of a bug which allows you to control. Oh, and that reminds me, one other thing. You can see here we're currently on version 1.62, or sorry, 1.26 beta 2. I will be upgraded to 1.31 by the time we begin the next series, which has a few changes. I might talk about those in the beginning of the next video just because I didn't prep myself. Um, I can't remember even. I know there are some significant changes, but off the top of my head, none are coming to mind. Anyways, I'll just keep this video nice and short. We'll end it here. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Austro-Hungarian series. It was a lot of fun for me. 
Uh, that's one idea I had for the series moving forward, like the next series, is maybe introduce a little bit more role-playing elements, because that is one way to make things a little more difficult when I start forcing myself to relax some of the min-max things that I do, and like for flavor or for historical fun, you know, any kind of things like this. So that's, that's one idea. Anyway, uh, look for the straw poll, and then look for this next series. We'll probably start in about a week. So right now it's the weekend. It's the 17th. You can expect the next series. To, we'll, we'll take a probably like a week break. I want to get a couple other things going. And then I'll come back to the World Wave series next weekend. So there will really not be much of a break. But don't look forward to the next series to start like tomorrow. So <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you when the next series begins.